And I got chance, I've got a chance to fish and hunt from Tuscaloosa here. You know, and I, I love fishing and hunting. Being able to be out myself, I had plenty of garden space. It gave the children ground to run on. They'd never been on the ground, I don't want to concrete all the time, you know. Johnny moved to Tuscaloosa in 1965, after his daughter died, leaving him in charge of 10 grandchildren. The grandchildren are grown now, but he has two new stepchildren. He and Candy, his wife of two years, share with them a modest home in the countryside near Tuscaloosa. But he and Candy share more than that. I'm a rhythm and blues singer by trade. More or less, uh, I do a little of everybody. You know, I like all music. That first time I saw him play in concert, acoustic, it just blew me completely away. He's been a very big influence on my music. He's teaching me a lot of the blues because I'm doing some blues shows with him. He's working with me more and more every day, and I'm just really happy and thrilled about that. And some of the people that he's, he has taught how to play, and it's, it's just really into it. And they've copied his style of playing. And, you know, that is just something to see. It's just something, you know, to have all come around and sit here with us and then start to play in, and they be playing like Johnny, you know. That is something. It's, oh, it's exciting. Sing to eight and to ten. Well, David, when David was so young, when I met him, I had to get permission from his parents to work him. <laughs> I learned to love the boy. As, as a, one of my family or something like that, you know? I'm very comfortable with him around me. Because he seemed to want to look out for me, see that nothing happened to me, and nothing happened to my property or anything like that, you know? In return, well, all I could do was teach him what I knew. Davey Williams, says Guitar Player Magazine, is one of the three founding fathers of American free improvisational guitar. He and his partner, LaDonna Smith, have released nine albums and are about as likely to be seen performing in Brussels, West Berlin, or Zurich as they are in their hometown of Birmingham. There's still a, a, a technical musical influence from Johnny that's pr pervasive, but uh, more than that, even more pervasive, and what's really stuck is the, is the the dedication to it, you know. So he, he sees, for one thing, giving lessons as, as spreading the blues, you know, and, and, and keeping it going. She's a kind hearted woman. But I, I think another aspect to it is he's just a very nice, generous guy who's, who's willing to give of himself in that way, too. I, I enjoy working with anybody who want to learn to play, to be able to make people feel good about their music, you know, that I've taught them. Now that's my high. <laughs> that's my high.